Hi to everyone gathering virtually for Coastal's annual conference. While I know we'd all prefer to be meeting in person, by holding virtual events like this, we're doing our part to stop the virus's spread and save lives. I am so thrilled to have the opportunity to join you today to accept the 2021 Public Service Outstanding Achievement Award. To be recognized alongside Governor Ivey and the impressive list of previous recipients is truly a great honor. Throughout my time in Congress, I have focused on policies that harness the benefits of technology to improve lives. This approach has never been more critical than during the COVID-19 pandemic. This crisis has forced all of us to rethink the status quo and explore new ways to go about our lives, whether that's visiting a doctor, going to work, or attending school. We're in the middle of a significant paradigm shift that will continue even after we've crushed this virus. And few areas of Americans' lives have seen more changes than school. Educators in our K-12 schools have been forced to adapt quickly in the face of massive uncertainty. This has meant a new reliance on distance learning and virtual interactions whenever possible. This shift to online interaction has helped keep students engaged, but has also highlighted a growing threat. Cyber attacks targeting schools that are increasingly more sophisticated and common. Now, make no mistake, the threat cybersecurity attacks pose to remote learning and students' personal data has already arrived and it is serious. COSIN's own 2020 policy report warned that cyber attacks are an epidemic. This well-documented threat demands a swift and significant federal response. And that's why I introduced the Enhancing K-12 Cybersecurity Act last year to provide the resources schools need to protect their students online throughout the pandemic and beyond. My bill takes three important steps to boost cybersecurity in the K-12 space. First, it would require the creation of a cybersecurity clearinghouse to disseminate information, best practices, and grant opportunities to schools that will help improve cybersecurity. Second, it establish, establishes a cybersecurity registry to track incidents of cyber attacks on elementary and secondary schools. Information submitted to the registry is strictly voluntary and will help improve the nationwide monitoring of cyber attacks. And finally, it authorizes new grant funding to address cybersecurity threats through expanded workforce capacity and improved cyber infrastructure. I work closely with COSIN and others in the education community to develop the bill, and I've been pleased by the broad support we've received. Moving forward, we will have many opportunities to advance this bill, including an infrastructure package I'm hoping Congress considers later this spring. Cybersecurity in K-12 schools must be a national priority during COVID and beyond. I look forward to working with all of you here today to ensure that we are making the needed investments to keep our schools prepared and our students safe. Thank you again for this wonderful recognition and I hope you enjoy the remainder of the conference. Thank you.